What's up, fitness goers, gym rats, fitness enthusiasts, and all others? As you guys can tell, I'm already dressed up, ready to go to the gym. However, as I know, I've not done any vlogs that I've uploaded this week or last week. Uh, it is not for weightlifting tonight. I am actually going for my third time this week for hot yoga, which I know most of you guys may have never thought I would be actually saying I was going to be going for hot yoga, but I decided um, over the last two weeks uh, before I did it finally um, that if I was going to get into it or not, but I decided I would give it a shot this last Sunday, and I did, and it was actually a, a decent class, so I thought I'd go again, went again uh, last night, and I'm going again tonight. My primary reason for doing so is to improve my flexibility in my legs, especially my hamstrings and my quads because they are extremely tight. So I'm hoping to loosen them up so it will help out with doing squats, leg presses, everything uh, to get a little bit more uh, of a better weightlifting uh, experience. Um, so yeah, uh, the other reason I enjoy doing it is actually it's a relaxing thing for me, especially hot yoga. Uh, the reason why I can say that is I did it back in like 2013, 2014, uh, at, when I was a employee at Lifetime. I would leave uh, my main job, go do the class, or when I was working at Lifetime there, because I was a rock wall instructor at the time, I would have the opportunity sometimes to be able to leave, work, uh, get off my shift early and go do the class. So I'd go up and do the class and all that, and I enjoyed it. But my main job got busy, and that took priority. But, um, so yeah, I decided to get back into it. This is the third night, and I'm actually really enjoying the workout. I'll say that, because my muscles are sore, my body is kind of aching the next day, but it's because my muscles aren't used to being stretched as much as they have been. So we'll see how much more improvement I do down the road. And the other thing about tonight's video is it is review Thursday. So once I get out of the gym and take a nice, long, relaxing shower after the hot yoga class, I will be doing the review for the Descent of Gym Wear. That will be uploaded part of this video, so stay tuned on that part. But I do apologize for not doing the review last week because I got a, uh, very hectic uh, doing other things and I did have it scheduled to do However, I made two mistakes. One, I kind of wore the gym clothes previous days, so I didn't have them done with laundry and I was not gonna do a review of gym clothes that have been worn to the gym. And the other reason is I had something going on Thursday and by the time I could do the video, it was already too late um, to be able to get it filmed, uploaded uh, upload it to my computer, do the editing, and then upload it to YouTube. So I decided to move it to tonight but I am making my way to the gym right now. Um, class starts about 6.30, it's 6.09. I'm getting off my exit right now, so hopefully I should have enough time to make it like I did last night. But anyways, guys, once I get around this big corner and sort of make it up the room, I'll go ahead and end the segment and I will be catching you guys after the class. So I will see you guys shortly, guys, now that I'm out of the corner and I can do the one button rule. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. I'll be back, and you'll be seeing the gym, uh, the Sin Gym Wear. And I'm actually excited about it, so stay tuned. Catch you guys later. All right, guys. Hot yoga session is over, and it is time for that Sin Gym Wear review. And let's go ahead and start. Wrong company. But don't worry, guys. I got the shirts and all that right next to me. So let's actually do the true Sin Gym Wear review. So for sure, here it comes. Alright guys, as you can tell this is a nice red shirt which is complemented by the Descendant hat that I do have, which we'll go ahead and get the hat going. So now that the hat's out of the way, it is a flat bill hat that I did get. I didn't get the curve bill, but I do curve my in my bills a little bit when I have a flat bill. I just like slight curve in these. But it is a comfortable hat and it is a snapback in the back, so that's the easy part. But let's go ahead and get into the shirts. That's the main thing that I'm discussing tonight. 
And as you can see, this is the orange shirt. This shirt is the only one that I have not worn out of all the other ones to the gym. The only gym I can actually wear this is, is here at Anytime Fitness or out and about in the real world. The only reason why I won't wear this at One Life is they have a little bit more strict policies and because the average is not really appropriate, I guess you're to say. I know other gyms and all that typically don't allow stuff like this to be worn because it can be interpreted as it fully saying it, even though there's a nice star where it's supposed to be, or asterisk. So, as you can see, I'm going to take a step forward just so you can see a little bit better. So, like I said, this is one of the shirts I have not worn yet to the gym, but it is the same cut as all the other ones. And all the other shirts as well, including this one, is all size medium. I decided to get a medium, so once they get washed, they shrink a little bit, but they also fit comfortably around the arms and also around the torso and uh, abdominal area. Gives me enough room to move around and the arms as well, so especially after doing uh, arm workouts and all that, once your muscles swell up, I still have a little bit more room. I've noticed with small shirts, for me, for my body size, they do start getting tight around the arms, especially after doing a hard uh, arm workout. So let's go ahead and move on to the next shirt to carry this on, and let's see what you guys think. All right, so as you can see, this is the next shirt. This is a black one with white lettering and a little red detail inside of it. The main reason why I actually picked this shirt in particular is the statement on it, the shirt alone, earned, not given. That statement alone is incorporated in my life because I work hard for everything. I don't ask for anything. It's the same thing in a gym. You push hard for what you want. You want to be toned, you work out, you got to get toned. You want to get bigger, you got to work out. It just can't be given to you. And that's one of the major things that Descendant Gym Wear is all about, is about not being average, like the previous shirt said, pretty much. Earn, not given, meaning you work for what you want. You are pushing yourself above the average level. You are going for the goals and all that. And it's like the, all the other things I say at the end of my videos. Keep it going, keep it up, keep it living life to the fullest. That's all I incorporate in my life. So this shirt meant a lot to me. That's why I picked this one. But as you can see, this one has gone through the wash and it has actually shrunk a little bit, but it has plenty of space in the shirt to move around. I don't have it being tight around my or so or anything and the arms are back, uh, big enough to actually have movement and still have swellness in the arms after a workout which I have worked on this shirt along with the other ones coming after this so this is one of the shirts I, I do highly recommend it, to try out especially the statement they have other statement shirts as well but I will be leaving all the links in the description below for all the shirts that I'm trying on there's only one page I will be leaving to let you guys actually fully see because it is the last shirt and you'll understand why once I get to that point. So let's go ahead and move on to the next shirt and see what it has. Alright, so this is the second to last shirt that I bought. This is the Team Descendant shirt. So I'll go ahead and step forward so you can get a little bit better visual. As you can see, team just uh, doesn't. And what you'll notice is doesn't is actually a team name. So it says doesn't is not an excuse. You go for your goals. But so the Santa Gym Wear is underneath, and of course the uh, San Diego, California, is as well. But this is one of my other favorite shirts besides the Earn Not Given. But I like this one. It's great fit. I also love black when I'm working out something I'd always prefer. Um, I do have other shirt colors and all that, but actually having my team shirt to wear and all that, so representing Team Dozen and representing Team, uh, the Dissident, yeah, I cannot speak right now, Dissident Gym Wear. So this is the second last shirt, so let's carry on to the last one, and you guys probably will, will remember exactly which shirt that was. So here it goes. And you guys probably have remembered this shirt by now. It's not really a shirt, it's a hoodie. It is called the Two Knot Hoodie. The reason why is when you work out, this hoodie comes in a great scenario whenever somebody next to you is talking on their phone or talking to their friend 
and you're trying to get your workout in. And it's a great way to tone, every, tune, not tone, tune everything out. I apologize for saying that wrong, because it is called a tune out hoodie. So pop up the hood, zone out, and get your workout on. One of the other major things since I've worked out in this shirt, and I have actually worked out the most in this shirt, is that I feel like the cut is really good, especially doing upper days. I really enjoy this because you have a lot more movement. Shirts are cut out on the sides, about midway down the torso, and it is probably the most comfortable. Real quick, so I can take the hood off real quick. This is where I was saying. Dissident is actually written across the gold on top. The gold is a limited edition because it is the two year design as the company has been around for two years. So this is the two year anniversary, but they do have others. And this is the shirt I was actually telling you guys that I will be leaving a link to the full collection of the Tuna hoodies because I really highly recommend this shirt because to me it is the most comfortable out of all, especially the material. The material is really soft. I've done a hard workout and even getting a good sweat in, it doesn't cause any issues, you don't notice any irritation, nothing. And I mean, it feels good to have something soft while you're working out, which us being guys, do we really care about it being soft? But hey, I'd rather feel comfortable when I'm working out because I'd rather not have to worry about anything else. So, now that being said, the other point thing I've learned about using this shirt is Let's say I wanted to use a barbell against the top of my home, across my shoulders doing step ups. It works because guess what? This hood is a little bit more padding on my shoulders. So when I'm doing a lot more reps, I can almost leave the barbell up there and it doesn't affect me. I mean, I'm talking about doing step ups with a hundred pound uh, easy bar or I haven't crossed over hundred pounds because that's what I use for step up, but it works out. It has a little extra padding, but as you guys can, See, this is going to be the last shirt, and I will be leaving a link for all the other shirts in the description below. And don't forget to click on the link under the ambassadors tab or category because if you click on the link, it should take you directly to the website, which will automatically log my code for you to get 15% off. And if it does not give you the 15% off when you are checking out, well, my code is right next to it, and it is 15, life is but a climb, all one part. So if the link doesn't give it to you, use the code and you get 15% off. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a while, and I do apologize for not doing this last Thursday. So I'm doing it this Thursday and go ahead and getting it out of the way. I will be doing a review next Thursday to get back on the normal cycle of doing reviews. So stay tuned for that one next week, but until then, I'm going to be doing my daily vlogs and all that, and I'm probably going to be incorporating doing yoga stuff and all that as well since I've started doing the classes and I've down, done three so far. I'm hoping to do two more by the end of the week, which five classes of hot yoga this week has been kind of brutal, which I haven't done any weightlifting because my muscles are adjusting to doing the yoga, and next week I'll be incorporating both in the same week. And I'll keep you guys updated how that goes. but. Until then, guys, keep it going, keep it up, and keep living life to the fullest, and keep pushing for those goals, guys. You will reach whatever you want to go for. It doesn't, it's not an answer. It's do it. Just like the company says. Be above average. Be you. Be unique. And simply, like the first shirt said, being average. Until then, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night.